Hi, I'm Jeff Ogan from Sport Dad Sports Photography and Camera Bits Pro Team Ambassador. Today's photo mechanic topic is snapshots and how using snapshots can speed up your workflow. A snapshot in photo mechanic is a saved copy of the current settings for the specific dialog box that you are currently using. In this short video, I will explain not only how to save and reuse snapshots, but how to use snapshots that were created on another computer. This is another pro tip designed to make your photography workflow more efficient. So let's dive right into Photo Mechanic and take a look at snapshots. First, let's take a look at the ingest dialog, Control or Command G on a Mac. And then you see here, this is kind of the blank slate. This is kind of the default settings when you first open uh, Photo Mechanic for the first time. So I can come in here, I can say, put it into a dated folder. I can give it uh, a location. This is where I want to save my files. Come in, um, set this, this, and this. Um, I th oh, and then apply the metadata template. So what I want to now do is I want to save this so that I don't have to worry about making mistakes in the future. And I can reuse this. So I'm going to say, uh, click on the Thunderbolt and then click Save. And I'm going to call it uh, 00 uh, start with this demo uh, setting. And then hit Save. So some period of time later, I'm going to go and do a photo shoot. I'm going to want to call up the ingest snapshot. So I'm going to go here. And you can see that I've numbered um, my snapshots. So I'm going to go here. Zero, start with this one. Uh, so Sport Dad, start with this basic ingest. Then I'm going to come over here. And again, uh, we see that this is a blank slate. I'm going to come here to the corresponding zero sport ads start with this ITPC close and away I go one more example I want to show I'm going to close here I'm going to double click on this picture and here I'm going to go to the crop tool and I'm going to come into settings so we see right now that this setting currently is constrained crop five by seven let's say I want to make this a maybe a nine by one and I want to save that and I'm going to call it 9 by 1 crop and I'm going to hit save and away we go so if I go here I can now come back over to this Thunderbolt and call up my 9 by 1 crop and there are my um, there are my crop settings now let's say I want to get rid of that I just as an example I created that 9 by 1 crop setting there it is there, but now I want to get rid of it because I don't really want to uh, have that in there. So let me show you how that's done. Come in here, manage, and you see it uh, immediately highlights in Finder the folder that the snapshots are in for the crop setting. I'm going to come here and I hit move to trash, close, and there you see now that that setting for 9x1 crop is now gone. Once you enter whatever you need in a dialog box, you save that snapshot to recall it for later use. That's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. But now let's say you want to utilize a snapshot that somebody else created, like an assignment editor or snapshots that I share with the students of my workshops. Perhaps you want to copy the snapshots that you've created on your laptop over to your desktop or vice versa. Now let me show you how to copy snapshots from other computers to your own. So I'm going to go back to ingest as the example and I'm going to come here, click on the Thunderbolt and now manage snapshots. We saw that in the example earlier on. So it immediately highlights the ingest dialog settings here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another folder and I'm going to enlarge that a bit and it's the summit sessions, my workshop. So here are the ingest examples here. So what I can do is I can highlight one here, copy it, and paste it over here. Or if this is the example of an assignment editor, so you're getting it from, say, a, a Dropbox folder like I've got here, I can now copy from here, copy all these files, and copy them over onto uh, my own computer. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Now simply repeat this. If I go back here and go to the metadata, I would come here, 
manage snapshots and you see it takes me to the snapshots, uh, the ITPC dialog settings. I would come back here, ITP, ITPC dialog settings. And again, I can copy from here over onto my, um, my local computer or go from here up to um, a shared drive, for example. Again, pretty simple, pretty easy. You'd repeat that. The only difference is with um, uh, the hot codes and uh, code replacement files. There is no specific location that Photo Mechanic is looking for. So this I've created a folder called Photo Mechanic and it is a Dropbox folder. So it automatically syncs between um, my laptop and desktop or in this case uh, between the desktop um, and this uh, shared folder that I share with the students of my workshops. So that is how you save snapshots and how you would manage them um, in sharing them between uh, different computers or from one person to another, such as uh, an assignment editor. For those of you that take my workshops, you'll see that I provide lots of different scenarios here. I've numbered them so it's really easy. Um, so you'd come in here, load the appropriate uh, ingest template, come over here and load the appropriate um, ITPC template, and then you would come to settings and set your code replacements. And to do that, you would come in here, and then uh, here are the examples here. There you go. So here are all sorts of examples that I provide for the various different scenarios. So now you know how to save use and manage snapshots. I also showed you how to copy snapshots from one computer to another, like your laptop to your desktop or desktop to your laptop, or from another person like an assignment editor or maybe a shared drive. If you found this helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Hit that subscribe button so you'll see the new videos as I publish them. Feel free to ask questions or leave requests for future videos in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.